everyone. Let's get into our position here. So let's take Shavasana, laying flat on our backs. Relax the head and shoulders down into the floor. Go ahead and take those arms down by our sides. Palms can face up to the ceiling. As we're laying on our mat, notice both shoulders, both hips, just flat into the floor. Noticing also the head is flat, so the nose is pointing straight up to the ceiling. And if it is kind of twisted, or if one shoulder is kind of raised, go ahead and just roll those shoulders into the mat, wiggle through the neck, starting our practice with neutral alignment. Next, I wanna bring focus to our legs. Let the legs just fall out to the side. You'll notice the toes open slightly. That's letting the hips relax. From here, I want us to bring our focus into our breathing. Inhaling and exhaling through the nose. With our inhale, we fill the belly, the rib cage, the chest, the neck. With the exhale, the air comes out of the chest, the ribs, and then the stomach, sinking into the floor. Continuing these slow, deep breaths. Really bringing our focus into our practice. Any other thoughts that are racing around our brains today, just letting them go. Whatever's important, that'll be there when we're done. So for now, whenever we get distracted or if we find we're not paying attention to the very moment that we're practicing right now together, I want us to remember our breathing. Breathing in through the nose and breathing out through the nose. Letting that belly rise and feeling the whole body melt back down into the floor. Now while we're here, I want us to reach those arms tall up above our head, reaching them long on the floor, a little bit longer. Notice that our legs, maybe they reach out a little bit longer too. While we're here, go ahead and grab that right wrist and pull it over to the side. And then we grab that left wrist and we pull it over to the side, reaching the body long on the floor. And release the arms. I'd like us to gather our knees into our chest now. So we grab a hold of the legs, whether it's the shins or the thighs, and start to rock side to side. Side to side, massaging the lower backs. Getting rid of any, any knots or becoming maybe aware of any tension that we have in those backs. And then as we hold our legs, go ahead and roll those ankles. Oh, get out the cricks and the cracks. Work through the toes, wiggle through the feet. Tell those feet they have to wake up. Get ready for our yoga. Now I'd like us to keep a hold of that right leg as we straighten the left leg all the way down into the floor. Really press that left leg firmly into the ground. Pulling the right knee open a little bit towards that right shoulder. And as we hold that right leg in, I want us to just become aware again of any extra tension across the neck and shoulders. Relax the shoulders into the ground, noticing the stretch across our hips. Couple more deep breaths, nice and easy as we get ready and get our body warmed up for our yoga class today. Inhale, drawing that leg back into the middle. Exhale, relax the leg all the way down to the floor. Hugging that left knee into the chest. Nice big squeeze here. Open the knee out towards that left shoulder this time. So now as that left knee is open out towards the left side, really press that right leg down into the floor. This is going to help actively open up across the hips very gently. Noticing again, What's going on in the neck and shoulders? Let's keep those shoulders down into the mat, starting to prime the muscles, preparing for good posture. Couple more breaths. 
Inhale, coming through the middle. Exhale, release the leg down. Taking the legs so that the knees are bent, feet are coming hip width distance apart, making sure feet are flat on the floor. Arms come down by our sides. Let's cut into our bridge flow. Roll the shoulders into the mat. Go ahead, lift the hips up. Take a big inhale, breath in. Exhale, slow, lower down. Inhale, lifting up, keep the feet flat. Exhale, lower. Noticing our core muscles now, the abdominals, the back. Inhale, lift, squeeze through the glutes. Exhale, release. We'll do two more of these. Inhale, lift. Exhale, release. Last time. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, lower down. Now keep in mind of our core, I want us to take our hands to the side of our head and lift our head up into a crunch. There we go, lift that head up into a crunch. Hold it here, now we're going to march our legs without wiggling the body. So we march our right leg up, lower it down, lift our left leg up, lower it down. So we're just marching, right leg then left leg, all the while, we'll hold our head and shoulders up off of the mat in a crunch. This is new for a lot of us. What I want us to be mindful of is that we're not rocking the body. We're keeping very still, so we're holding those core muscles really strong while we're moving and lifting one leg at a time. This is bringing awareness to our control, to our core, activating the muscles which helps with balance. Very good. Let's do one more each side. Last time. And then as the feet come down, we rest the head and the arms. Rolling over onto our side, let's come all the way up, finding ourselves in tabletop. Tabletop position, all fours, hands and knees. Place those hands right underneath our shoulders, spread the fingers. Knees are right underneath the hips, nice flat backs. Taking ourselves into spinal balance. I want everyone to reach our right arm forward, thumb up to the ceiling, reach that left leg back. Very good, and lower down. Taking the left arm up now, again, like you're shaking someone's hand, reach that right leg back. So we work opposite arm and leg, then lower down. We're going to move with our breath. Inhale, right arm, left leg. Exhale, lower. Inhale, left, exhale, down, inhale, right, exhale, lower, inhale, left, exhale, down, inhale, right, exhale, lower, inhale, left, last time like this, exhale, down, now songbird, so we reach that right arm, left leg, hold it here, making sure we have really good balance, strong stomach muscles. Go ahead and touch elbow to knee, and then big reach extend. We'll do this a few times. Crunch the elbow to knee, inhale, reach. Exhale, crunch, inhale, reach. Exhale, crunch, inhale, reach. Exhale, crunch, strong abs, and reach one more time. Exhale, crunch, inhale, long extension, and relax, tabletop. Inhale that left arm, right leg, hold it here. Show me really good awareness of the core, the posture, shoulders strong. Now crunch, elbow to knee. Inhale, extend, nice and long. Crunch, inhale, reach. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, reach. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, reach, two more. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, long, long, long. Last time, crunch under. Now big reach out, hold it, and relax. Good job, holding tabletop, taking cows and cats. Inhale, look forward, open up the chest. Exhale, round the back, tuck the tailbone. Cat. Inhale, untuck the tailbone. Open up, tall through the crown of the head. Exhale, tuck the tailbone, round the back. Draw the belly buttons way up. Inhale, open, reach, bring those shoulders down away from our ears. Exhale, round, really trying to push the shoulders up, 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 up. 
Inhale, open. And last time, round up high to cat. Really arch the back. Stretch through those shoulders. Good, and come finding tabletop once more. Into our big thread the needle. I want us to fan that right arm up. Big, long reach. And thread all the way underneath our shoulder. Laying into that right ear. Reach the left arm forward. Now, as we hold this, I want us to rock our hips back a little bit. Noticing the stretch through that right shoulder, in through the arm, maybe up through the back. Just noticing what we're feeling today, where we're feeling it. And then we come back up into tabletop. Go ahead and take that left arm, big reach, fanning it all the way up to the sky, and then thread all the way underneath, laying into that left ear this time, and reach the right arm forward. Couple big breaths. Stretching through the upper back, into the arm, the shoulder, just noticing what we're feeling today. And then we come back up. Good. From here, let's press our hips back into child's pose. So we sink our hips down towards our heels, reach those arms forward, press away from the hands, and relax our head. Some of us, our forehead will touch the floor. Others, this might be a little bit more difficult. So really just trying to find a position that we can become comfortable in. This is the pose that we come to as often as we want to whenever we practice yoga. Noticing our knees. Do we need to open them wider today or have them a little bit closer together? Try to relax those toes in the back behind us, flat through the feet so we can stretch down the front of the shoe. If we can imagine wearing shoelaces right now, on imaginary shoes. Think about having those nice and flat so we can stretch the top of those feet out. From here, I want us to all reach forward into a kneeling plank. Getting ready for our first flow series. From kneeling plank, shoulders stacked on top of hands, knees are on the ground, stomachs are pulled in. I want us to hover into our tricep hold, baby crocodile. Push straight up into that kneeling plank position push back into child's pose. We'll do this flow five times. Inhaling forward, strong through the abdominal muscles. Exhale, hover. Inhale, press straight up. Exhale, push back. Inhale forward. Exhale, try to get those elbows tight to the rib cage. Inhale, press straight up, keeping back straight. Exhale, push back. Inhale forward. Exhale, lower, flat, flat, flat. Press straight up and push back two more times. Inhale forward. Exhale, lower, only as low as we can control. Inhale, press straight up without banana peeling the back. Exhale, push. Last time, inhale forward. Exhale, lower. Inhale, press straight up. Exhale, push back, child's pose stretch. From here, let's find our way back up into table, getting set for our runner's lunge. So we sweep that right foot up between our hands, knee stacked above ankle, lifting up, making sure we're comfortable on our knee. So if we ever have knee pain, go ahead and put a pillow, a towel, roll the mat up, something that can help make that knee more comfortable. Ensuring that this knee is stacked right on top of the ankle, we can wiggle our toes. All right, from here, zip, 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 zip. Arms come tall, reach them long. Now notice that we still want to bring those shoulders down our backs. All right, now as we hold our runner's lunge, let's make this more of an internal practice. What I mean by that is let's get rid of all the noise, all the things we see, closing our eyes. Focus on what's happening inside. Can we hear our heartbeat? Can we notice our breathing? Slow it down. Slow, deep breath in. And slow, deep breath out. Noticing our balance today. Are we pretty wiggly? Or are we okay? Are we happy with our balance? And if we are wiggly, that's okay too. Sometimes it's fun to laugh when we have the wiggles. Noticing how strong we can be through the core how tall we can be through the crown of head. And we are always aware of stapling those sh shoulders in the back. 
keeping those butterfly wings pulled together. From here, I want us to fan our hands down, staying in runner's lunge. Keep the left hand right beside that foot. Fan that right arm up really nice and tall. So now we're in a twisted lunge. So we're opposite arm and leg. If our right foot is forward, our right hand is high up to the sky. Good, hold it here. Make sure that knee is still stacked right on top of the ankle. We haven't let the leg fall out. This is gonna help us stretch down that outside of the leg and through that hip. Take one more big breath in and relax. From here, I want us to stretch back a little bit, straightening out that front leg. Single leg hamstring stretch. Now, if it's too intense to keep our hands on the floor, let's bring them up to our hips. And then slowly flatten out the back, reaching the chest a little bit farther forward, thinking about really keeping a nice straight back. Play with that gas pedal a little bit. How does it feel when we point the foot versus how we flex? Noticing the stretch, notice any change in sensation up the calf, the hamstring, the shin, the foot. Lots of good feels today. Now from here, I want us to plant that foot down on the floor and then rotate to the side, coming into that single leg inner thigh stretch, setting the hips back, reaching the arms forward, extend the arms long if that feels good. If it feels a lot better to stay up high today because it's just too intense, that's okay. Listen to the body. Reaching those arms nice and high in front of us. Maybe some of us even come down onto elbows. The other thing I want us to pay mindful attention to here is do we bring the toe up to the ceiling? Or do we keep the toe down to the floor? What feels better? There's no right or wrong. Listen to the body. Kind of play with the pose. Now slowly I want us to come all the way back up. Bring those knees together and sink back into child's pose. Oh, my hip just released. It needed that today. Nice big stretch. Just relax here. And again, in child's pose, we sink nice and deep into the ground. Noticing how low our hips have come, how flat the top of the feet are. Letting our neck completely relax, forehead to the floor. Arms outstretched, shoulders stretching. And we'll take that flow series again, coming forward with our inhale, kneeling plank. Exhale, lower, hovering above the mat. Inhale, press straight up, no body sway. And push back into child's pose. Let's do that one three more times. Inhale, forward. Exhale, lower. Inhale, press straight up. Exhale, push back. Inhale forward, try to keep those elbows nice and tight. Exhale, lower, working the triceps. Inhale, press straight up. Exhale, push back one more time. Inhale forward. Exhale, lower, strong through the abs. Press straight up and release back into child's. Finding tabletop position. Let's get into our left foot forward runner's lunge going through all the steps to make sure we get a quality stretch here. Knee above ankle, lifting up. Notice that we're okay on that bottom right knee. I want us to lift our arms up nice and tall whenever we're ready here. Finding our balance. Ooh, maybe we have the sways today. That's okay. Find a different position. Reaching forward through that hip. Keep the zipper. Tie those ribs a little bit tighter. Sometimes our ribs fan out. I want us to keep them tight and try to sew them together. That's going to really help our balance. Now, as we hold our arms up, keep the shoulders down. Notice our breath, closing our eyes, breathing in and out through the nose. The challenge is to control our breathing, slow it down. And if we're able to become aware of our heart rate, see if we can notice it too, slowing down. How's our balance on this side? What do we feel as we open up that back right hip and lift tall through the crown of the head? 
maintaining this position, but bringing the arms to the floor, finding twisted runner's lunge. We keep the right hand beside the foot. Open that left arm up, fan it tall, fan it high. As we bend forward still into that front knee, the knee is right on top of the ankle. We haven't let it fall out to the side. We're not leaning on the shoulder either. We're really lifting up and out of the hand. So some of us might find it better coming up onto knuckle. Instead, making a fist. If that's a little bit easier on the shoulder, that's fine, just fine. Continue to open up that arm. Make sure we know where that top arm is in space. It hasn't wandered off anywhere, but really aware of our body. Now release the arm down, getting ready for that single leg hamstring stretch. We start to push the hips back, straightening up that front leg, walking up if that feels better. So we can have our hands on our hips and start to really just flatten out the back, reaching the chest forward. Being aware of our alignment. So we've got our shoulders and our hips directly facing that front knee. If we're opened out to the side, we're not getting the stretch we want. We want to stretch behind the knee and behind the calf. So we need to keep our body facing forward straight. Doesn't matter if our hands touch the floor. What matters is that we're feeling a sensation. Start to press the toes down, pointing them, and then pull the toes up, flexing the foot. So we go between pointing and flexing until we find a really good stretch. And maybe we stop moving the foot because we've noticed something that feels good. And then I want us to all stop with that foot pointed down. Go ahead and start to walk over to the side into that groin stretch or inner thigh opener here. So it's a single leg split. And as we push the hips back, we're reaching those arms forward only as much as it feels good. Remember, we stay as high as we need to or we come as low as we want to. As we listen to the body, there's no competition in yoga. It's one of those exercises that we do because it helps us. We never do a pose that's going to hurt us in any way. We use yoga to help us be better athletes and better people by paying attention to our breathing. It helps calm us down. We become more aware. And by doing all of these stretches, it helps us recover from the other strength training and endurance exercises we're doing. Go ahead and slowly bring those hands back up, the knees together, pressing back into child's pose stretch. Getting ready for our flow series. We'll do it three times. Inhale forward into kneeling plank. Exhale, hover, baby crocodile. Inhale, press straight up. Exhale, push back. Two more. Keep those abs nice and tight. Inhale, forward. Belly buttons in. Exhale, lower. Inhale, press straight up. Exhale, push back. Last time. Inhale, forward. Exhale, lower. Inhale, press up. Exhale, push back. When we're ready, we curl the toes, lift the hips. Coming into down dog. So as we find down dog, what I want us to really pay attention to is working through the feet. So we're pedaling the feet out, toe to heel, toe to heel. We're also fanning the feet from inside to outside, playing with those toes, noticing how close the heels are coming to the floor today. So I want us to go ahead and hold down dog with the heels pressing down to the ground and we'll take that body scan. Pressing away from the fingers, pull the shoulders down our backs, let the heads rock and fall in between those arms. The next thing we look at is back through the legs, lifting the tailbones up nice and high. Our feet are about a shoe, a running shoe distance apart from each other. And are the heels down on the floor or how far away from the floor are they? You can measure with just looking Mine are touching the floor today. I'm getting a really nice big stretch, pulling my tailbone up higher. If we notice that we're in a funny looking plank, I want us to try to bring the feet a little bit closer and push the hips up higher. Good, now everyone together, go ahead and come forward into plank. Nice and flat, plank is on hands and toes. For anyone that's still learning this, we come down onto our knees and then chaturanga, slow lower all the way down, slow, slow, slow. 
Lift up for baby cobra. So baby cobra, the hands are on the floor. We're lifting up our chest. But if I asked us to, we could all lift the hands up if we needed to. Good, now I want us to press back into down dog. I'm going to do that flow series three times. Inhale forward into plank. Knees can come down to the floor. Exhale, chaturanga. The whole body moves slowly. Inhale, cobra. It can be baby or full. Good. Press back into down dog. Inhale forward into plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Controlled. Inhale, scoop up. Long neck, shoulders away from ears. Exhale, push back. One more time. Inhale forward. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, press back. Good, now from down dog, this time I want us to walk our feet all the way up between our hands. Coming halfway up to monkey. Monkey pose, we bend the knees a little bit. Create a tabletop surface with the back. Really pull those shoulder blades together. Press the hands against the shins or the thighs. Keeping the necks neutral. So everything is long, right from the tailbone, straight through to the top of the head. Hold it here. Now, as we're holding monkey, I want us to become very aware of our posture. Shoulders stapled in the back, belly buttons pulled up. Now sit into our hips, reach the arms forward, finding chair. Holding chair, we're going to come into some twisted chair poses. So I want us to really make sure that we're in our heels, fanning those toes, knees are back. So if I turn to the side, backs are flat, arms are reaching up to the ceiling. And we're in a really good chair pose here. So imagine a chair right underneath our bum that if we wanted to, we could sit into it. Now from here, I want us to take hands to heart center. Bring your right elbow across to your left knee. Squeeze those shoulders together so we don't want to all of a sudden collapse and lean down. Keep those shoulders open. Good, come into the center. Left elbow over to right knee. Very good. And then come into the center. Stay low. Don't let those bums come up. Right elbow over. <laughs> good. And center. And left elbow over. Try to keep the weight in the heels. Don't let those knees open up either. Good. And come to center. One more each side. Our legs are burning. Right elbow over. And come to the center. Last time on the left. Bring it over. Oh. And find the middle, hold it here. Now big inhale, lift tall, tall, tall. And relax. Very good, shake out the legs. Coming up to the very top of our mat. Excellent job, everybody. So as we stand at the top of our mat, I want us to step our left leg behind us. Warrior one. Big stretch for the calf. Bring those arms up. Now in warrior one, we bend through the front leg, roll the shoulders down, checking into the balance once more. Go ahead, close the eyes, become aware of our heart center. So right through the collarbone, lifting up to the ceiling, exposing through the heart. This is a very opening pose, calming. We've got two feet pressed down to the floor. We're grounded. We're strong and we're at peace. Breathing slowly in and out through the nose. Now taking our hands down by our side, coming into another twisted pose, twisted pyramid. So go ahead and straighten that front leg just a little bit. Left hand over to that front right leg. Right hand, just set it behind our back. Just get it out of the way like it's in your back pocket. Now slowly slide down, letting that hand come down the side of your leg. Now some of us will stay quite high and that hand is just gonna stay holding the leg. Maybe you can touch the floor. I'm gonna show that version today. Now that back hand, that can stay in our back pocket. But if it feels good, why not fan it up to the ceiling? Now this is really tricky for balance. We've done lots of twisted, ah, twisted poses today to warm up, but it is very twist, twisty and tricky. 
So make sure we find something we can look at. Hold our focus. Good. Let's hold it a little bit longer if we can. If we've wiggled or fallen out of it, just going back through the process of finding warrior one, pyramid, and come down into twisted pyramid. Good. Now I want us to everybody bring both hands down and take ourselves into a deep, deep lunge. All right, from here, we're bringing that front right foot all the way up behind us into three-legged dog. Three-legged dog, it's a nice big pose. It's a fun pose. And it's a little bit tricky for balance, but it's a nice stretch, especially if we can bring that back foot that's on the ground. Try to press the heel as low as we can get it. Now get ready for pigeon. Take that top right foot, kick it all the way up into the left hand. Big stretch here. So in pigeon, you notice my back leg, nice and straight behind me, lined up with the side of the mat. This top leg, we want to imagine that it's lined up with the front of the mat. Now we can stay high on our hands, or we can come down onto our elbows, or my personal favorite, let's make pillows out of our fists. Go ahead and take a little lie down here, a little rest. And again, the focus comes to our breathing. This is a very intense stretch. It brings a lot of focus into that right hip, down the side of the thigh, up and through the hips, into the back. If it becomes too much at any point, we come back into child's pose. Otherwise, we stay here and we notice that every time we take an exhale, so we breathe out, we blow the birthday candles, I want us to melt just a little bit more into the floor. In yoga, what's really important is that we become aware of our breathing and how it affects us. So as we take that inhale, maybe we make a couple adjustments. We pause and then we take that big exhale and we let the body stretch the muscles. We let the blood come into the areas of the body, the muscles that are sore and need a little bit of extra focus today. So great, everyone. Go ahead and bring those hands up to the floor. I'm going to press back into down dog. I invite anyone who wants to come into child's pose instead to sink those hips down low and find child's pose. Otherwise, join me in our down dog. I'm going to simply hold my down dog. I really like this stretch today. But if anyone wants to walk it or wiggle it, feel free to do that. Couple big breaths. And we'll walk our hands and feet together at the very top of our mat. Coming halfway up to monkey, realigning through the upper back, it's nice flat back here. Sit down and then big inhale, reach tall up to prayer, bring those hands together, down through heart center and relax. Good, so if we didn't quite make it to the top of our mat, go ahead and step there now, stepping our right foot behind us into warrior one. So we glue that foot back, reach forward into the front knee, zip up, zip, 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 reaching the arms nice and tall up above. Fantastic. Again, let's try to close our eyes today. Close those eyes. Whew. And if our balance is funny, maybe we keep them open, that's okay. I want us to notice both heels on the floor. Fanning the toes, fanning those toes. Keep the arms lifted nice and strong. We have intention through those fingertips, energy through the fingers. As soon as they get floppy, then the arms get floppy, then the shoulders get floppy, and the core, and everything just spills. So we start from the very ground up. The feet are strong, the muscles through the leg, the core, the shoulders, the neck, that crown never falls off our head, right up through the fingertips getting ready for our twisted pyramid. So we straighten out the legs, relax the arms, make sure we go through the steps. So we start by taking our right hand across the leg, opposite arm, bring that back hand into the pocket behind us so that it's just out of the way. We don't wanna think about it. Start to slide down nice and slow. We never have the head drop down first. The head is last always. 
So I'm just going slow, noticing all the stretches through the body. Maybe I stop here. Maybe this is my twisted pyramid right now. And if we do feel like bringing our hand down to the floor, that's fantastic. It comes to the outside of the foot. And maybe this is where I stop. If I really, really want to, I can try now to bring my hand all the way up to the ceiling. And then if I think my balance is going to let me do it, maybe I can try shifting my eyes to a point up high. Now really focus on keeping those feet glued to the floor, strong through the arms, strong through the abdominal muscles. This is a very challenging pose. Takes a lot of control, a lot of focus. Take that last big inhale. And we exhale, we bring both hands down, finding a nice deep lunge. All right, prepare ourselves to come up into our three-legged dog. So with our hands glued to the floor, we kick that left foot all the way up high to the sky. Now this time in three-legged dog, we notice that back right heel coming down to the floor. Now if this is too much with that top leg straight, you can always bend it. We never have to have straight legs, it can always be bent. We do, however, want to make sure that our hips and shoulders are facing the ground. Now keep those ab muscles, those bellies pulled in tight. Coming into pigeon, kick the left foot all the way up to the right wrist. The knee comes towards the left hand and we straighten out that back leg. So again, if you can see my back leg, it's nice and straight behind me. I'm right on top of my knee. I've got my top knee and foot resting. So my hips actually aren't on the ground at all. You can always check your balance. So in pigeon, we're not laying off to the side. We're definitely supporting ourselves on our knees and feet. Hips are up. Now we bring our hands down, maybe our elbows, and maybe we take a little body rest, balancing our forehead on our fists. Now as we hold our pigeon, I want us to really start to think about that left hip. What are we feeling? Does it feel the same as the other side? Do we feel twisted at all? Do we need to bring our legs into a better alignment? Do we need to flatten out our lower backs? Just noticing with each exhale. So every time we breathe out, what it is that we are actually experiencing. So yoga is very much about the present moment. So what I mean by that is that we're not worried about what used to happen when we stretched like this, or we're not worried about what we're going to do tomorrow or next time we do yoga. Instead, what we focus on is today, right now, in this pose, how does it feel and then we breathe a little bit deeper. From here, I want us to come back up onto our hands. Go ahead and kick back into down dog. The option, of course, is there to push into child's pose instead, if that's what we would prefer. And we can dynamically move through the stretch. That just means while we're holding it actively, pedal or wiggle or flow, or we can statically hold this stretch. And when I say a static, I mean simply that we freeze. Like freeze tag, we freeze in the pose and we hold it. Now together, I want everyone to come forward into plank, full or modified on the knees, chaturanga. So we move like an elevator, everything's down slowly, controlled through chaturanga, scoop up for cobra. Nice long cobra stretch. Noticing the crown of the head, tall, the neck is long, the shoulders are down. Good, and then resting onto our stomach, let everything lower here. We're getting ready to come into a bow. So we hold both of our ankles, same hand, hold same foot. So right hand holds right foot, left hand holds left foot. If it's too much to do both feet at the same time, we'll just do one foot instead, and I'll cue you when to switch to the other side. So you won't be left behind, don't worry. So if we're holding our feet together, go ahead and keep those knees wrapped around a pool boy or imagine a ball tucked in between those knees, okay? 
roll those shoulders into the back. Try to flex your feet. Try to put your feet flat onto the ceiling as we inhale, lift up, 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 up. Now you might rock a little bit if you're sitting right on top of your diaphragm because what happens when we inhale <laughs> is our belly fills with air. You don't have to rock though. Keep those shoulders squeezed together. If we were just doing one side, I want us to lower and grab the other foot, lifting ourselves up high, high, high. Keep pulling those shoulders a little bit cl closer. Keep those knees bringing them closer. So sometimes we happen to let the legs fall out. I want them to stay in tight so we can stretch through the front of the body. Now everybody take one more big inhale. Exhale, relax. Oh my goodness, what a big stretch. Hands come under shoulders. Press ourselves all the way up. Very good. And then press back in the child's pose. Oh, big stretch for the back. While we're here, we're gonna go ahead and stretch through the side body a little bit more. So we walk both hands over to the left. Really pressing that left pinky finger away. We can look underneath that left arm. And we wanna stretch down the whole left side of our body, particularly around that shoulder. Couple nice big breaths. Then walk your hands all the way over to the left side. And we pull right from that right pinky finger all the way down our arm. Let the head relax. Maybe we peek underneath that arm. Continuing to keep those hips coming nice and nice and low. Maybe they're still touching our heels. Maybe they're not. Big breath. And then walk our hands forward and walk them all the way back up towards our knees. Circle sweep those legs around so that they're coming forward. We'll take our seated forward fold, a nice big stretch for the whole back side of the body. Bringing our arms up, big inhale. Exhale, reach forward to the toes. Relax the arms, relax the head. So we're noticing the forehead coming down towards the legs. The hands can hold the legs, the feet, or just rest down to the floor. What I really want us to pay attention to, that we're not holding our heads up. I want us to drop the head. Tuck the chin right into the chest. Notice the stretch down the back of our neck. And we're going to get ready to twist this. So we take our right hand, we hold our left foot, left calf, left pant. We're gonna lift that leg up, take that free left arm, reach it over and look behind us. So we're just holding opposite arm and leg. Now again, twisted poses require a lot of core and a lot of balance. So just doing what we can today, even if that's just, you know, holding at our knee and, and kind of twisting it a little bit. Now to get a little bit more stretch before we finish, go ahead and take both hands, wrap them around that front leg. Oh, it's tricky. Slowly lower, slow, slow, slow. And then take our left hand, grab our right foot, right leg, wherever we can grab, lift it up, reach that arm behind us. Very good, nice big reach. Look behind us if we're able to. Good, keep going. Reaching tall, holding this twisted fold here. Reaching both arms forward, hold onto the foot, the leg, wherever we can hold on to. Slow, 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 lower. Slow, slow, slow. Good, and then rolling ourselves up. Sitting into butterfly. Nice and tall here. I want us to hold both feet close together. Hold on to those ankles. Just start rocking into the sits bones, making sure that both sits bones, right and left, are flat on the floor. Set up really nice and tall. Elbows can stay tucked in or used against the knees. We're going to slowly fold forward and then drop the head. Relax the head down, tuck the chin. And then slowly roll up. Good, bring those knees together. Now we can sit however we'd like to, whether the legs are out front, if that's more comfortable, 
or we can take ourselves into crisscross applesauce, easy seated. I'm taking half lotus, full lotus is both feet crossed over. We're going to meditate in our seated position today. With our hands rested on our knees or held in the basket, let's roll the shoulders down, loosen up our neck, close our eyes, noticing how tall we can sit. Noticing that chest, heart center is open. We're feeling a part of the group today. We're feeling together. And with that crown sitting tall on top of our head, we feel powerful. We're confident. We're grateful for this opportunity to take our yoga class with people that we care about, people who support us. We're grateful to ourselves, holding ourselves accountable for our health, practicing our yoga, taking the time to work on not only our physical health, keeping our muscles loose and our bodies strong, but also that mental and emotional health. Being aware of any stress in our life and knowing that when we practice our mindfulness, our meditation, our yoga, our breathing, that we're able to calm down. We're able to find new perspective, take a moment to thank ourselves for keeping everything and everyone around us healthy and safe. Bringing our arms all the way up above our head, reaching tall into prayer, Finding our way down and through Heart Center. Namaste. Thank you so very much, everyone. That was wonderful.